Yes, people, welcome back to Let's Talk Premier League. We're here for Niall's thoughts again. And um, today we're going to talk about a li- something a little bit a little bit different. We're going to be talking about a little bit of a ball between Anthony Martial and Ralph Ragnick. Now, yesterday, um, Ralph said to the, the media um, that Anthony Martial would have been in the match day squad, but he refused, refused, to go and travel with Manchester United. So he wasn't a part of the match day squad because he said he normally would have. All right, okay. So Martial wants to leave and has refused to go to a match. Not great, probably fine him. Not the greatest atmosphere. But there's always a but with Manchester United. It's never just plain simple. It's never just take one person and deal with just one person. It's always you have to get the both sides because you never really know with United who's actually telling porkies. And it actually would appear that Ralph Agnick may have said some porkies because Anthony Martial tweeted out, um, or not tweeted, used his Instagram and said, hold on, I've never refused to play for United. I've never disrespected the fans or the club like that. And it's like, uh uh-oh, I smell danger for Ragnick. Um, And I suppose the issue with this is, if you're going to say this, it better be true. Because you put in a player who, and, and look, Martial gets a lot of abuse from United fans all over the place. Now, I could explain maybe why he gets some of that abuse. I think it's pretty damn obvious why. You know, he's not mank born and bred for starters, um, even though United's fan base is much more wider than Manchester. But hey-ho, that's that's just whatever. I mean, Rashford's been shit and he don't get half the abuse that Anthony Martial does. So, you know, um, but... Uh, Back to back to what we're talking about, and I suppose the issues are when when you say this, it's got to be true, right? You can't just be making lies about a player. Now, Ralph may not want to use Martial, so there's there's many ways this could be. Ralph may not want to use Martial, but doesn't want to admit that for whatever reason, politics or or I don't know, right? He could he could conceivably want that, so he said Martial didn't want to come. But when you say that, you've got to be sure the player ain't going to go on social media and go, hold up, guys, but I've never done that. Now, of course, Martial could easily be lying, you know, could have refused to play. Um, and, and, and then Magnick has said that out, out into the press. And then Martial's like, I didn't refuse to play, even though he may have. So, look, you, you can't go in on Ralph or Anthony Martial, because unless you were there, you just don't know the truth. Like, I don't know who's telling the truth. Now, we put a tweet out earlier, in fact, on, on our on our YouTube page, uh, at Let's Talk Premier League, uh, Let's Talk EPM. And uh, so far, it's got 18 votes. It's only been up for about half hour. 18 votes, and uh, 67% of votes say Ralph Ragnick is lying, and that Anthony Martial didn't refuse to play. So that's what, that's what our community is sort of thinking. Now, I'm not going to go and blame either of them. I think the whole situation just is, is symbolic, really, of what's going on at Manchester United. You know, you've got players who don't want to play. You've got players that want to leave. You've got an interim manager that pff, has got so much crap to deal with. I don't know if he's going to be able to fix it all before he actually passes on the reins. Because be, be you know, very clear, Ralph Ragnick is not getting the full-time job after this season. No chance. And nor do I think he should. I think, you know, that there, there are doubts on, on Ralph in terms of can he achieve um, the best on the football pitch? We know he can build clubs. Can he achieve the best on the football pitch? And his man management... Is now going to be um, it's going to be questioned. You know, did Oli Gunnar Solskjaer ever do this? I can't remember. I don't recall uh, him ever. You know, blatantly lying, apart from saying I know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, in in all honesty, this situation is a complete and utter mess. Um, but how's how? What happens now? I mean, how does this get fixed? Well, ultimately, I don't think this does get fixed. Um, Whilst I think Martial is is somewhat of an all-right player, I think they're 
there are bits of uh, of his game that I do I do quite like, and if only his attitude maybe on the pitch maybe maybe represented some of his ability, I think you'd have a cracking player. Now, why hasn't that materialised? Well, I think when we look back at NHS Martial, I thought he was phenomenal. Part of part of that that Rashford Martial Greenwood front three was was. It was an in, in, insane front three. It was, it was very, very talented. Um, where did that Martial go? I honestly don't know. I think, you know, Cavani came in, but you can't just say because Cavani came in, Martial wasn't wasn't performing. Well, that, that may be the reason, but that's such a weak excuse. So um, I don't think you ever get the best out of Anthony Martial. I think he needs a clean slate as does um, Manchester United. I think both of you just need to go your separate ways. Martial needs to go to a place where he is loved. I think Martial, for me, is the type of person who needs to be loved at at, at the club. We've seen these these types before, that they just, they need to feel loved. They need to be the big dog, right? So I actually think maybe a Martial going to a Spurs, if he wanted to stay in England, a Spurs or... Um, Leicester would would be perfect because obviously Vardy going, maybe maybe he's better than Pats and Daka. Um, maybe if Harry Kane was go, he could be big dog at Spurs, and I think that's what Martial needs to be. He needs to be big dog in a small pond, um, and that's just not United. United is not a small pond. United is the biggest club in the world, um, maybe just behind Real Madrid. Um, and, and when you play for the biggest club in the world, they obviously are going to keep reinvesting. They're going to keep getting better and better players week in, week out, or year in, year out. And it's just very difficult for Anthony Martial. So I think ultimately Anthony Martial is going to leave. Uh, I think it should be this window. If Raul Fragnick's got half a brain, he would get rid now. Just get rid now. Clearly, there is something going on between the two that we're not privy to. But there's clearly something that cannot continue. This cannot continue by any stretch of the imagination. Because you've got to think, who are Martial's friends? Well, Pogba is probably going to be one of them, right? Both French, both play for a national team. Varane may be one of them. Again, the French national team. Rashford and Martial are close friends. Like, they, they get on quite well. You'd argue maybe even Martial Green would get on. I, I, I've i never seen them falling out. Of it. They played well on the pitch. You could conceivably see that they could be friends. Um, we don't know what click Martial's part of, but it could very well be the click of Pogba. And if that's the case, Ralph Ragnick has just hit a beehive with a baseball bat. He's going to get stung because when you piss off Martial and if he's mates with Pogba and Pogba goes, whoa, bang out of order, Pogba's click then gets involved. And you can bet your bat you can bet your dollars money. Pogba's got good friends in there. Baye is one of them. You know, and then Ahmad is friends with Baye. You see where this is going? You see where this is going? This could get very, very messy very, very quickly. So Ragnick needs to get rid. He needs to go. Look, he needs to say to the board, the board needs to be very firm on this. Ralph needs to go, this ain't good. This is bad. Bad for our season. Just get rid. I have no intention of using him. I can't imagine the new manager is going to have any intention of using him. Cut our losses, get rid, sell him. But there's the, there's the issue. No one's wanting to buy Martial. The best I think you've had is a loan offer from Sylvia. It's the best you've had. So either you lower your price and you ring up everyone going, Anthony Martial is available at a cut price. You're fucked. You are screwed. But that's it. That's 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 my thoughts. Um, basically, Bagnick's not getting the full-time job after this season. And Martial is gone. Um, we'll be back later today. We've got a watch along of Leeds, uh, West Ham versus Leeds, so it should be a good one. We were going to do a North London derby, but Arsenal sort of had a little, uh, little, little issue. 
There'll be another Niles Doors later because I want to talk about that as well. But as ever, please leave your comments in the this uh, in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Um, also, a big thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed. It is great to have you all on board with us, um, and we really appreciate it. Also, hit the like button for me. Just just two seconds. Hit the like button. Yeah, cool, perfect. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, until next time, peace out.